Next, we will open the Project tab from the shortcut menu. In the frame area, enter your project data. This data will allow you to keep track of your analysis file and will be displayed in the report after you have completed the analysis. On this page, we will also select the system of units, either English for Imperial or Metric for SI. Now we will choose the settings for our analysis. Click on the Settings tab. Select MSE or Gravity depending on the type of wall you are analyzing. Alternatively, you also have the option to use the 3D Wall Layout module. One of the most powerful parts of the Geo5 software is the Settings Administrator which allows the user complete control over the safety factors or load and resistance factors used for analysis. Within the administrator, you will see several pre-configured settings that are available for your use. Use the Select Settings button to select the appropriate settings for your project. You can make changes to these settings by clicking on the Edit button. Here, I will change the reduction coefficient for sliding at the first block to base interface from, point one, from 1 to 0.7. Check and revise the other settings as necessary. Here I will change the minimum safety factor for global stability to 1.3. We will be using Allowable Stress Design, or ASD, for this series of tutorials. If this was an LRFD project, these load and resistance factors could be changed here. By default, the wall section is shown in 2D. A 3D view is available by selecting the 3D button. ReadyRock Wall allows multiple load cases or conditions to be analyzed with one file. Each condition is referred to as a stage. Simply click on the green plus to add a stage. Change settings for the stage to permanent, transient, accidental, or seismic under stage settings. This setting will determine the appropriate load factors factors of safety, and how loading is applied in the analysis.